Put him in a coach, Nicodemus. All right, son, let's move it. Come on. I'm mighty glad to see you take him off my hands, Marshal. I know Hudson Payne. Stopped him and his thugs and lynching a homesteader up in the Cimarron country. Those are six of the roughest men I've ever seen. You better be careful. We'll make it. All right, boys, let's pull out. Keep your eyes peeled. Payne's boys gonna try to get the jump on us. Why don't you ask him? I wouldn't go to sleep if I were you. You ain't scared nobody, Payne. You're gonna stand trial. We'll see to that. Think so? I know so. We'll see. Come in to see you, Mr. Payne. Tell the boys to come in. I'm sorry we ain't cleaned up, Mr. Payne, but we came just as soon as they took him. Deputies, or Gunter himself? Ah, yes, sir, it was Gunner himself and two deputies. Well, where do you figure to take him? Well, we probably got our best shot someplace in the Gloss Mountains. All right. I'll pay each one of you $50 extra when you bring Jimmy home alive. We'll bring him back, Mr. Payne. Can't go to Judge Parker's court. They'll hang him for sure. The man Jimmy killed was no count. He was a tin horn. Mr. Payne, he had it coming. Jimmy done right by shooting him. Just bring him back. Send him out of the territory when I get him home. Don't worry, sir. We'll take that stage. Some sleep, Marshal. Not sleepy, Payne. Save yourself a lot of trouble by letting me go. My daddy ain't gonna let you take me to Judge Parker's court. You shot an unarmed man in cold blood. 
you're going to stand trial for murder in Judge Parker's court, and that's that. Somebody's going to get hurt if you don't let me go. Your daddy raised you wrong, son. He got you out of every scrape you ever been in. Trouble is, you think you can do anything and get by with it. It's all over now. Well, we'll see. We'll see. This is the place, boys. Copple. You got the dynamite? Enough to blow that coach? The splinters. We ain't gonna blow the coach. Jimmy's on that stage. Can we blow it after he's out? We'll see. Scar, you do a real good job with that dead man routine of yours, and I'll see to it the old man gives you an extra 50 bucks. Let's go, boys. Set it up. Scar, you're almost here. Slowing down. What is it, Lefty? It's a body out here. Looks like an Indian got him. Oh, the Indians hadn't bothered travelers on this road in the last six months. It's probably a trap. Move on. You got somebody we want, Marshal. Cut him loose or I'll shoot the driver. You fire another round, I'll shoot Payne. I got crazy Bill Koppel with me, and he'll blow that stage to kingdom come. You won't do that. The kid will go too. Now you back off. We're pulling out, and if anybody follows, Payne's in trouble. that thing out, will you? You gotta stop sometime, Marshal. And when you do, we'll be waiting. Lefty, can you move? No. I'll, I'll hang on, Marshal. All right, let's pull out. Yeah! Yeah! Get out of here! Yeah! What now? They can't run those horses forever. When they stop, we'll be waiting. Switcher, I want you to push on hard, Buffalo Springs. Don't you stop you get there. There's a doctor there. What about you, Marshal? You're on foot in this rough country. Uh, don't you worry about us, Lefty. We'll make it all right. Okay, okay get this coach out of here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right, come on. Get away on those hills. Two days out here without horses. What's he doing? He's 
praying. Well, you better pray for God to save your skin. He's not praying for us. He's praying for Lefty. Lord, I ask you to keep him from dying. I ask you to help him recover from that wound. In Jesus' name, amen. That's a pretty stupid thing you did, Marshall. Boys will find out soon enough we ain't on that stage. They'll be back. That's the only chance I had to get Lefty to a doctor in time to save his life. You mean you bailed off that stage to save your deputy? Lefty is my friend. And I don't expect you to understand such things. Yeah, all the people that hang out with you and your old man are bought and paid for. Come on. What if he does? Thought you was gonna make it to the doctor, did you? Well, you didn't. How would you like it if I dropped this on your head? It's a campfire. Gag him. I'm lefty, and he doesn't look good. Well, what do we do? We don't have any choice. We gotta get him out of there. If we don't, he'll die. Hey. Hey. All right, speak up. Make a trade. Me for your deputy. Now, somehow, I don't think your daddy's men will be too disposed to loan us a use of three horses. Gag him. Hurry. I think I'll either drop it on your head or drop it on your other arm, balance you out. Huh? I think. Would you like it? Huh? Let him alone, Copple. 
If he dies, we haven't got anything to offer Gunner in trade. McGraw, get him some water. I need him alive. Put you on a horse. Are you up to it? All right. you let the men away. We didn't know he was anywhere around, Mr. Payne. They still got my son. We'll bring him back. Mr. Payne, that deputy's hurt bad. And I know it's been three days, but they couldn't have made dry gulch yet. How long do you think it'll take him to make it with a wounded man? Three, maybe four more days. Well, get some train tickets. We'll be waiting for the Marshal and Drag Gulch. I'm slowing you down, Marshal. Lefty, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna make it. Prayer's working, Marshal. He's gonna make it, Payne. You can bet your daddy's ranch on that. How far out are we? Well, two, three days, I reckon. Enough time for your friends to get back to your daddy's place. What's your daddy going to say when he finds out his boy has botched the job? I reckon he'll holler and yell a little bit. But he ain't going to quit. Make him help me get him down. Go, cool, yeah, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could have shot you when you topped the hill back there. Look, son, if I'd have wanted you dead, I could have done it a long time ago. It's a whole lot easier to haul a dead carcass around than it is a live troublemaker. Why didn't you kill me then, huh? You could have shot me when I tried to escape. I got to answer to my conscience, son. And if I can't answer to my conscience, then how in the world am I going to stand for Almighty God? Well, I guess there ain't no chance for me to stand for Almighty God after all I've done. Well, I'm just doomed to hell. I might as well go out in style. Hell's nothing to laugh about, son. Well, you're mighty anxious to send me there now. You know what's going to happen if they take me back to Judge Parker's court. 
The judge may sentence you to hang, sure enough. But you don't have to go to hell. God forgive sinners, son. Now drink this and then get back up on your horse. He's out, Marshal. He ain't gonna be riding no more. Well, I'll take his horse into the near settlement and trade it for a buckboard. No, listen. He's in real bad shape. This is my friend. You said in your word that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Oh, God. Don't let him die. Keep him alive, Lord. Keep him alive. You're gonna make it, Lefty. You're gonna make it in Jesus' name. your life to save him. He's my friend. It must be special. I never had a friend like that. What about them six men that came to spring you? Them men, they don't care about me. I guess everybody knows that my old man pays the best wages of any wretcher in this country. Them men, they just came with the cash that's in it. It's been that way all your life, ain't it, kid? One way or another. I guess my dad and his money have got me out of every jam I ever got myself into. Except for this one. Well, I'm real sorry you wasn't raised right, kid. But you still gotta stay in trial. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, too. Need a little information, mister. I reckon I can oblige you. Marshal Gunter, who are his closest friends? Hi, fellas. May I help you? Come with us. Can I help you? Come with us. You're making a big mistake, mister. Marshal ain't gonna let your son go free. Oh, I rather think he will. Father God, I put you in remembrance of your 
word. You said that no evil would come nigh our dwelling. You said that you would deliver us from every evil work and preserve us into your heavenly kingdom. Whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm going to run on into town and get that doctor ready for Lefty. You're going to find my father waiting in town for you, Marshal. Well, he's probably got a trap laid for you. I know my dad. He's probably holding some of your closest friends as hostages. There's only one way we're going to get them out. Yeah? What's that? Let me go into town with you. Now, why would we want to do a fool thing like that? I'm going to stand trial, Marshal. Take me into town with you. I can talk to my dad. It's the only way. All right, get your horse. B.G., are you sure about this? I've always prided myself on being a pretty good judge of character. I think he's telling the truth. Here, Mr. Payne, the Marshal and Jimmy. Open the door. You know these people, Marshal? I'm told they're two of your best friends. They mean as much to you as my boy does to me. Son, I reckon you told the truth. You're gonna do it? I don't have any choice, kid. You got two of my friends in there. No! You're wrong, Dad! You let those people go! These are good people. I ain't gonna let you hurt them. Now cut those people loose. And go on back home. I'm going to stand trial. Are you crazy, son? You could go free. He can't touch you as long as I've got these two. Dad, I got a conscience. What you're doing is wrong. I want to be clean, Dad. Let's get the marshal and be done with this thing. I want to be clean, Marshal. Oh, God, Jimmy. You can be, son. Oh, Lord Jesus. Forgive this man. Forgive this man and come into his heart. Forgive me, Jesus. I'm sorry for my wrong. Jimmy! No! Jimmy! 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 What have I done to you, Jimmy? I'm clean, Daddy. I'm clean. J Jimmy. Marshal, what? Oh, no. This should never have happened. It's my fault. Oh. 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 He's going to be fine. Where am I? You're in the doctor's office, Lefty. We drug you all over the Indian Territory, but we finally got you here. I remember some of that now. Marshal, what happened to that kid we were bringing in? He 
He's in heaven, Lefty. Bad people go to heaven. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they do. First time it came, most didn't recognize the name. See, they were looking for a flash or a big splash, a heavy duty claim to fame. Though you may not believe this age is closing fast, in the days we're living prophesied as last. Ready or not, he's coming back again. Ready or not, he's coming back again The first time he came as a gentle lamb He will soon return as a great I am Ready or not, he's coming back again Or sway cause it seems his coming is delayed See they are blinded to the times All believing lies are in the swing of their own thing But the time is now for you to get wrong right Or the Lord will overtake you as a thief in the night Ready or not he's coming back again Ready or not, he's coming back again The first time he came as a gentle lamb He will soon return as a great I am Ready or not, he's coming back again Now the question is, do bad people really go to heaven? Well, they have to, because you see, there wouldn't be any people in heaven at all if only good people went to heaven. The Bible says there's nobody on the whole earth who's right before God, nobody. Only one person ever lived that never committed a sin, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. But you know what? He died so that even bad people could be forgiven. We don't go to heaven because we've been good or bad. We go to heaven because we believe in the gift that God makes available to us. You know, the gift is eternal life, and God gives it to us in Jesus. And if you've never invited Him to come into your heart, and if you want to go to heaven, if you want to know that you're going to spend all eternity with the Lord, then you can bow your head right there and pray with me and mean this in your heart. And God will hear your prayer, and you'll have Jesus in your heart, and you know you're going to go to heaven. Just pray this and mean it with me right now. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died on the cross so that I could be saved. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I ask you to forgive me of all of what I've done that's wrong. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. 
I confess him as my Lord. Thank you for saving me. And if you prayed that prayer and meant it with all of your heart, you're going to go to heaven, whether you've been good or bad, because we go to heaven because of God's gift, not what we've done. Gentlemen, let's discuss the imminent demise of Bill Gunner. I figure he's got some of my gang in jail. Bust him out, give us a few extra men. In the untamed West, some men lived for revenge. Ty! Get away from that man! It's all right, ma'am. I won't hurt the boy. No! No! Ma'am. I give you my solemn word. We'll bring your boy back alive. Other men lived for justice. God's justice. I'm telling you, in the name of the Lord Jesus, if you will maintain your joy, there is no defeat that can stay in your life. 